this video, I play a Minecraft randomizer UHC, but tall grass leads to diamonds, gold, all sorts of overpowered loot. Guys, I am so close to 100 subscribers and I'm trying to hit it by the end of the year, so hit that subscribe button and help me reach that goal. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below what you thought about this video and other future video ideas. Enjoy. Looks like we're right near a village, so that's a really good thing and near a hole in the ground that I just fell in and it's not even the start of the game yet, so life is good. Life is good. So, I really like when I spawn next to villages because they just have so many interesting blocks that a lot of other people probably would not get to try out. And we already found wood, so that's really good. Um, alright. Okay. Grass had been really OP the last, like, two randomizers I played, and I was hoping the streak would continue, but unfortunately, it did not continue. Someone in the chat said they already found diamond blocks, so that's GG's for them. Sand is a long process. I hope it's worth it. Oh, now we're all the way around to oak leaves, so I guess this saves me a trip of testing out the oak leaves. This is such a long process. I started at sand. What? It's an endless- wait, is it an endless loop? I'm so lost. I'm just so lost. And it's over. Well, that was something. Let's try out grass, and it's nothing. Awesome. Um, how about tall grass? String. Um, diamond ore. I guess if I ever found a furnace, I could- <gasps> Blah! That was good. That was really good, actually. So, tall grass is good. I don't know why there's cobblestone there. That's a little weird, but whatever. I'm gonna try it. Try it out. Sandstone, coral, glass, powder, beacon. I hate beacons. Well, not in survival Minecraft, but in UHCs, randomizers, they just take so long to break. Oh, and then I already have TNT, so I guess I'll try out TNT right about now. Wouldn't it be fun if TNT was in city? I would enjoy that. Come on, TNT, you wanna be in city? Yeah, yeah, in city? Okay, guess not. Oh, this crop, I think that's beetroots. Redstone block, mm, also nothing. Is there a blue lit? Try that process. If somebody found a diamond block that fast, then it's gotta have been something not that difficult. How about, okay, that was kinda sad, and they only dropped ink sacks, so it kinda feels worthless that I took their life. I'm gonna go inside here, hopefully they're not too mad. Hey, you'll get over it someday, buddy. The pain will, will cease some someday. Alright, that was nothing. Oak door is flower pot. Done this. Torch. Concrete powder totem. Well, that's good, but I don't know how many torches there are in this village. I guess there's a few. I can go around with those. Um, pressure plate of oak. Piston of sticky. Concrete of purple and orange of carpet. I thought that was a diamond block for a second. I thought I was gonna kinda speak it into being so, like being the last thing in the process. Please pretend I didn't say that. Didn't make any sense. And that is grass. And I know what grass is, because I have done it before. So I just need to remember tall grass is it. Tall grass is the GG's, but, and it's really not that long of a process. Ooh, that could be good. But, I don't know if it's worth grinding. Have I even tried just grass block? What the heck is that? Why is it a water bottle? Oh, it's weird fishing drops. Well, that's very weird. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, we're getting not low on time, but we're enough time has been wasted by trying out different things. I think if this was an in-city game, I would know it. Oh, that's funny. I got chicken drops while staring at a chicken. And the chicken itself was only smooth quartz. Which was nothing. Well, I don't know if it's nothing yet. It probably is. The odds are good that it's nothing. That's the way the game works. The odds are good that it's nothing until it's not. I haven't even tried dirt. How am I an idiot? I need to just actually try things. Instead of being an idiot and assuming that things are going to try themselves when they aren't. But at least I know how to get gold still from that tall grass. I feel like this is going to be a pretty OP game. Not like crazy, but people are definitely going to have things. Oh. What? Well, now I'm confused. I think it just led to tall grass, and I found a shorter way to do it. I'm like addicted to trying the new things, just in case it's good. It's like, you never know. Maybe this will be it. The thing that's in city. 
You think it's in city? Come on, in city, please. No. Alright, whatever. String breaking session. Ba 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 ba. I forget how long this process is. If it's really long, then I don't know how that's gonna work because tall grass is like you you can find it pretty easily, but like you have to run around a little bit looking for it. So nope, it was diamond ore that was the big thing. Ooh, and this is gonna be a lot of XP. So I don't know what I would use XP for, but if I need it, I'll have it. Cause what is this? 14 diamond ore? That's like a lot. Yeah, see, I'm already at level 2.5. It's funny that breaking diamond ore is what gets you the goods. Like, I feel like people would go smoke it in a furnace and just never know. Okay, yeah, I'm good. I don't have quite enough, but I'll have plenty of time to grind for the rest. Alright, here we go. This is a nice tall grass field. Tall grass, come here, tall grass. Here, tall grassy, grassy grass. Stringy string, grassy grass. Okay, right here is what it's gonna happen. Breaking this one. I'm gonna get so many levels. This is kind of weird. I feel like I very rarely have a block along an important process that happens to give levels, so very interesting scenario going on here. I love how people in the chat literally are spoiling it before everyone's very eyes. They're like, this is what's good, this is what's good, this is what's good, and everyone's like, this game is cursed. This game has nothing good. I'm at level 10. Do you know the last time I've been level 10 in a UHC? It's been a while. I have enough for full diamond and a diamond axe, which is what I need. Ba ba bam. And a little bit left over. We have what? Enough for one notch and some normals. I always like to have one notch just for emergencies. My goal is not to use it, but you know, I often do. Because I'm not that great at the game, guys. I'm really not that good. I say that and then this will be the game I win. And then I'll have to eat my words. Well, I might have to go for gapple kills. Because I know people know how to get gapples. It's just they might not know how to get um everything else. So that's a probably a very good strategy. I have two pairs of shears. Oh yeah, I have starter shears. Oh gosh, okay. PvP is enabled. I think I'm going to go towards zero zero because if the chat is lying to me, then that sucks. But if the chat's not lying to me, nobody has jack crap. So I could, in theory, get A, kills, equals healing, B, people are full iron and gaps, so I just have to be smart about this, and I don't know about a win, but I think I can definitely coast my way through to deathmatch, probably with more, like, gapples than I have right now. The real goal is survival to the end and the victory, and so if putting getting a kill puts me in harm's way, I'm definitely not gonna risk it. Because this game is going very well for me and I really do not want to mess it up, so. I'm really close to 0-0 zero, zero now, but I see nobody. Is everyone dead? There's nine players left only already. What the heck? Well, that's weird. Maybe people- <gasps> Bruh. Alright. Chase scene. Oh, they're fighting back. That's cute. Ooh, this is what I wanted. They had two prop three books. And here's what's happening, boys. All right, we're gonna make a crafting table. We're going to stay safe here in the woods, throw together. prop threes. Throw together some prop threes. So now we have one half prop three, or two halves prop three. That was such a good kill. That was like the best way that kill could have gone, honestly. Oh, there's somebody here. Okay, I knew I wasn't going to kill them before DM. Where's my crafting table? No! Alright, well I didn't make it to that. However, deathmatch is looking pretty good. There's only one other full diamond. So, smart about this, and I've got the win. I'm gonna actually head towards the middle, because I really need some gapples. 
Even though it might mean missing out on some of the easy peasy kills, now I have 15 gaps and I think that might be worth it. I might clean up this fight. So they're dead. Grab the gaps. Grab the notches. And just like that, there's three players left. There's a pearl in this chest. A lot of totems in this one. Enchant bottles for days. Sharp five! Honey, what? That's actually better. Alright, well. I guess we're sword stratting again for the first time in a long time, actually. It's been a while since I used a sword, but... Alright, three players left. Ha! <laughs> Darling, please. I would like this kill, please. I think I deserve this kill. And I got it. Good job for me. Alright. I have over a stack of gaps. I don't know why I was worried. The problem is now he's enchanted. Okay, well. My prop 3 honestly might be better. There's a chance it's better. Then what I'm guessing is this full prop 1. Speaking of full prop 1. That just happened. And I still have so many levels. That boy is mad looting. Okay. Come on. We got this. We got this. Girl power. <laughs> it's completely unrelated, but whatever. I wonder if he doesn't have a lot of healing. We just have to play this smart. We don't have- we just can't, like, mess it up and drop by accident. Mmm. Smart man. But he's still in danger! What?! The danger was real and the victory was mine. GG everyone, four kills, randomizer without in-city but with some really good stuff. Thanks so much for watching that video guys. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. I'm a brand new channel and so every single subscriber really, really counts. And leave a like if you enjoyed that video and you want to see more in the future. And comment down below any more video ideas because UHCs on Octane are super fun and cool but I'm open to like crazy scenarios or playing with friends or subscribers or anything like that. So. Thanks again guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.